Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. I would say day of my life, but it's gonna be a couple of days combined for this one. So I'm currently on the way to Tennessee for a little weekend getaway. We're going to see some family and it's gonna be very, very much needed. So I don't entirely know what we're gonna be getting up to, but I'll film as much as I can. So we are currently approaching Atlanta and we're going to Zara and I'm so very excited about it. I haven't been to a Zara store since I lived in New York, which is pretty insane, but no worries. I have been ordering from them regularly, but it's just, it's just gonna be a treat to actually like be back in the flesh. After we leave Zara, um, we only have about like an hour and a half drive left. We stopped at McDonald's to get some breakfast on our way out. So I've actually never had the pancakes before. So um, it just comes with three. And then this is supposedly sausage. This is, this is some uncooked sausage, I'm thinking. <laughs> but I'm gonna try them for you on camera. Hello, different day now, it's the next day. Um, I didn't really film anything after we went to Zara in Atlanta, um, but we got to Tennessee safe and sound. We had to get ready quickly when we arrived to go to dinner with one of my mom's best, best friends. It was so good, we went to an Italian restaurant. I really wanted to vlog my outfit, but I, I was truly just so hungry, but I looked like Joe Exotic last night. I had on this silky shirt from Zara that had all kinds of different animals on it. And then I had on like tight black jeans and Western boots that had a square toe. Like I was I was serving Joe Exotic realness. So what are we getting up to today? Um, not too much planned. We're currently um, in the downtown area of where we're staying and we're gonna be taking some fashion photos. Yes, um, apparently there's some really cool like artsy alleys in the area so we're gonna try and find those and take some photos so um, I will catch you at some point I'll definitely film um, like the different areas that we go to oh wait what's that doing So we just stopped by Starbucks because I needed a morning coffee. I can't go without having a morning coffee. And I wanted to try um, one of the new shaken espresso drinks. So this is the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. So obviously it's in the name brown sugar oat milk. This is also a blonde roast. Um, and it's a shaken espresso, which I don't know what that means, but I haven't tried it yet. There's also, I think, a chocolate almond milk. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to try it for you. So here we go. I hope I'm not like jittery afterward because I heard there's a lot of espresso in these, but um, we'll see. So, and also how do you shake espresso? Maybe they just like shake the drink instead of stir it. I don't know. I'm getting many flavors. Well, first of all, it's very coffee, which is obviously the espresso, but I've never really had oat milk before. So I don't know what that taste is like. I also am kind of tasting the brown sugar. It's really good. It's just very, very coffee, a little bit sweet, a little bit bitter, which is what I like. So if you like Starbucks, 
highly recommend trying the new ones. So we drove past this little venue on the way in the other day and I was like, I so want a photo in front of that. And so we came by yesterday <laughs> to see what this place is. And I think it's called like the Circus Big Top Arena. Oh, okay. The Circus Tent Arena. We were like, what is this? So we got some cool photos here, um, but it's it's for wrestling. It's for wrestling, um, just just Tennessee, small town things. Hey. Hey. Hello, Kitty. Hello, Kitty. She's hey. 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 So I'm no longer in Tennessee. I have failed at vlogging. I'm sure you've heard the spiel before from other YouTubers, but like, you know when you go on a trip and like you just want to enjoy being on the trip and like just want to enjoy being with the people that are there with you? That is essentially what happened. But I'm going to go ahead and pick up the vlog. There's probably going to be multiple clips from multiple days thrown into this one. So enjoy. I realize I never showed you what I got at Zara. So let me show you very quickly. By the way, why is Madeline wearing this? I actually just had an interview. I know, pretty crazy. So it was a little bit of a different interview. It was video style. So it wasn't Zoom. I wasn't talking one-on-one -on -one with a person, but um, instead I was in like this software thing where it would prompt me to answer a question and I'd have to answer it within like two attempts. It took me two and a half hours. It said it was gonna take me 20 minutes. But I also like wanted to make sure that I was answering everything fully and how I wanted to answer it. And hopefully this employer likes what I had to say. I think I did pretty well. I said that about the last job and I didn't get it, but you know what? I think I did pretty good. So I just finished that. I probably sound a little bit hoarse. It's because I was talking so much. Anyway, so this is the first top. I think it's so cute. The only thing is this is a freaking small and it's falling off of me. And like, I have a smaller torso in comparison to my legs, but I'm not like, you know, teeny tiny, but it's sliding down and that's really unfortunate. And I also don't know if like my boobs fill it enough. I may have to fashion tape it because I think, I don't know, I just like, love the style of it and I can't return it so we're gonna have to make it work but it's basically like a bustier style strapless it's very stretchy it just doesn't like fit me well up in the chest area if you have any suggestions to fix this can you comment them because I really want to wear it without being uncomfortable next up is this really fun top so from the front it just kind of looks like a cool neutral flannel, which I don't mind the look of. I think it's cute. I probably tied this wrong, but you turn around and it's got this really cool tie detail. I don't know, I thought it was so fun, so different, and like you really wouldn't expect it when you turn around. I don't know, I paired this with a pair of black jeans and like some neutral Western boots and I really, really liked the look. This probably looks so dumb. Maybe not, I don't know, but this is really fun. You can also wear it open in the back. It just kind of looks like a winged effect where the ties are, but I don't know. I love this. Last up is this 60s dress. Hopefully you can see the entire length, but I thought this was really, really fun. And I am so into like the 60s and 70s trends going around right now. I actually took some photos in this when I was in Tennessee and I paired it with those thigh high white boots I showed in my vlog last week. And it was so cute. I'll put up a picture. I'm not supposed to be putting up a picture, but here's a preview for my YouTube subscribers of this outfit before I post it on my Instagram. But it's so cute. It's really stretchy. And it also comes in like a hot pink and I think a lavender. I'm obsessed. So cute. So that's it for this little haul. I'm meeting a fortune cookie because we got yummy Chinese food the other night and I didn't eat mine, but question if you like chinese food and you like fortune cookies what are your roles for eating a fortune cookie 
My rule is that you have to eat the entire cookie first before you read the fortune or else it's not going to come true. What do you believe? What's your process for eating the fortune cookie? Okay, I'm ready. Well, that's good. <laughs> you will live a long, prosperous life. Love it. I was hoping it was going to say, you're going to get a job tomorrow. The person you're in love with is going to admit their feelings for you. So you may have just heard the doorbell ring. And I have been expecting a package from an Instagram sponsor collaboration thing. I am so ex I mean, I think this is what this is. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? So I had a company reach out to me to do a collaboration on Instagram. It's a perfume company. I don't know how much I can say on YouTube about it. Maybe I should like do the sponsored part later after I post on Instagram, but this perfume company reached out to me called Dossier, and I am so freaking excited. Um, I can't speak fully on the products yet, but just briefly, their whole shtick is like all of their scents are between $29 and $49. Um, and all of the scents are inspired by like high-end designer perfumes. They also have men, women, unisex. Um, sorry, I'm filming on my phone right now. I keep looking at myself when I should be looking at you. But um, yeah, they asked to do an Instagram collab with me. I got to pick out two scents and I'm thinking this is what they are. And this really is just so exciting to me because one of my goals this year was to get a sponsorship on Instagram and I got one. Like, I don't know. It's really exciting. It's really monumental. The past year has been like so difficult and this is just like a little, a little nod to you can really do it. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Don't give up. Keep being persistent. And the goals that you set for yourself can be accomplished. So this is really special to me. And I'm very excited to shoot the content for it. Yes, this is what it is. How exciting. Oh, this packaging is so cute. So this is the little box that it comes in. It says dossier here on the bottom. It's so so cute. I, I, I'm honestly, I'm like, should I be filming this right now? I'm just so excited. So then you open it and it says iconic sense, designer quality, no markups. Very nice. And then it has a little pamphlet and it describes kind of like the notes, what designer perfume this is inspired by and just other things like their mission and all of that. So this is floral pear inspired by Jo Malone, English Pear, and Freesia Cologne. I've never tried a Jo Malone perfume before, but you open it and it comes with the full size and it also comes with a little tester size. I'll go more into detail later. I wanna smell them now while I have you on camera. So this was the Floral Pear. I'm not good at these. Mmm. It's definitely like a mature scent. But I definitely get the pear in it. Mmm. I don't wear a lot of like fruity perfumes. So that'll be fun. I want to see this bottle though. It's so pretty. I love it so much. So this is 50 milliliters. This is like hefty and then this is the scent i was most excited about so oh this one's a different packaging so it says the fair alternative to luxury perfumes made in friend france risk-free order vegan and cruelty free clean 
ingredients. So this one is the Floriental Almond. And this was inspired by Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Eau de Parfum. Yes, and she's so beautiful. She's so pretty. So let's give her a little smell. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew I was gonna like that one a lot. I'm definitely like a warmer scent person, if that makes sense. Like I love vanilla, um, I love almond, all of that. So I knew I was really gonna like that. I love that. Mmm. So after I post on Instagram, I know I'm gonna have a code to give you all. Just give it some time. I'll probably have it by next week's vlog. So definitely look out for that. Thanks, Dossier. The coffee is out. It's like five o'clock. Too late to be having a coffee, but it has been a long day. It's still a long day. Currently, I'm filming my fashion video for the week. Also, I do a TikTok on top of that. You know, batch contenting. So I'm sitting in my studio right now and it's so beautiful. I, I really do just like love it so much and I can't believe like I'm making this happen. I genuinely just love taking photos and it's not even like an egotistical thing about me whatsoever. I love fashion so unbelievably much. I think that's obvious. And when I'm taking photos, it's more about the clothes and not so much how I look in them. And I just think it's incredible that now I have a space that I can take all the fashion photos that I want, do all the TikToks that I want. And yeah, so a little bit of an update on the studio. Let me show you really quick. So you've seen the backdrop before. She is still here. Um, you may see this little square thing here. That's a slab of wood. Um, I need to go get more because this is on carpet. As you can see right here, my heels go through the paper and this was a very expensive backdrop. So we're trying to prevent that as much as possible, but we completely rearranged the room. So this bed was on this wall, but now I just have this entire wall to like have my setup essentially. So my tripod's there, I've got a ring light there, and then I've got a clothing rack here for all my fashion videos and super exciting news. I ordered lighting today, yes baby. So I got three. There's gonna be a light on this corner, a light on this corner, and then back here up against the wall, there's gonna be, um, I think it's called like a boom arm where it goes up and over. I'm not sure how that's gonna work with the ceiling fan. We will make it work. Um, but I think it'll be fine because the backdrop is tall enough. And yeah, so I am so excited that's coming in Saturday. And besides just some other like miscellaneous things, my studio will be complete. So I get to start shooting in it this weekend. All right, so I am wrapping up the vlog. I'm actually about to head in to work and it's 80 degrees outside. It's so hot. I'm like, okay, I don't know how to dress for this. What is short sleeves? What What's a sandal? I have no idea. I'm wearing platforms today. Um, I've already twisted my ankle and my toe really hurts. Oh no, but that's going to be it for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked going along with me to Tennessee. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up if you made it to the very end. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram at Madeline underscore hair. My new Instagram rebrand should be live by the next video that goes up on my channel. So definitely follow me there. And I think that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.